Isn't there a huge benefit to growing up in Boston, growing up in communities that embrace hockey, have arenas, have teams, have the infrastructure around that someone like yourself growing up that has the passion and the talent and the ability. Sometimes if, even if you have all those things, there's kids growing up in certain pockets, you know, certain communities in, in the United States where hockey is just not an option. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, when I was growing up, I mean, a million years ago, it's Massachusetts, Michigan, and Minnesota. And you might have a few in that New York, New Jersey area, but that those are the three major states that if you grew up there, the most likely you'd play hockey, especially in Minnesota, where they, you know, it's huge hockey there. Um, but, you know, you fast forward it, you know, the, you know, we're looking at now with the game of the NHL game growing in the United States, you know, but like, like I said, not like if I was a kid, 10 years old in Massachusetts, if I found out I was playing a team from Missouri, come on, really? That'd be <laughs> over before it started. You fast forward, you know, 20 something years later, or now, whatever now is, there's no chance. I mean, there are great hockey players everywhere in the United States now compared to, you know, when I grew up. So that's a credit to the game, credit to, you know, National Hockey League former players settling in cities that, you know, the Californias, the Texas, Florida now has a bunch of kids, Missouri, you know, Illinois has a lot of players. So it's it's a lot different than when I grew up. You know, say if you grew up in Texas, you're playing football, you know, I mean, yep. you didn't think about hockey back then. And that's where, you know, we couldn't get the best athletes in hockey because they're playing football, they're playing basketball, they're playing baseball. Now it's changing. We're getting, you know, the best athletes are, are playing, some of the best athletes are playing hockey now in those states where it unheard of back when I was growing up playing hockey. Yeah. And what do you, and, and I know you just touched on it, but I'd love if you dive in a little deeper, like what do you accredit that to? Like, what do you credit that? You know, you mentioned California. There's always that that whole story about how, you know, Wayne Gretzky kind of made, you know, out playing out in Los Angeles. He kind of made hockey in California super popular. So many former NHL players, as you said, they kind of reside in, you know, the West Coast. And a lot of them now have moved to Nashville and now they're kids and they're supporting the youth programs. But, you know, what other things is you is U.S. hockey doing to create such a widespread now access and ability to form good teams. You mentioned if they were from Missouri 30 years ago, they probably, they probably didn't have a team, but now kids are coming out of all parts of the United States. Like, is that a conscious effort? I mean, I'm sure it is, but what are the steps that U S hockey is doing at the youth level to, to get this word out, to get this access and, and exposure to, to this great game to pockets of America where otherwise 20, 30 years ago, kids just weren't playing it. Well, first of all, the whole Wayne Gretzky thing is absolutely the reason why we're seeing hockey. You know, I'm always fascinated by that story. Yeah, I mean, he whether he know, knows it or not, he changed the game of hockey in the United States for every kid. I mean, it just people didn't know a lot about it south of the border, and that was understandable because there wasn't a lot of teams back way back. But he did change that. Now you're seeing a ton of kids, you know playing and, and doing different things in hockey, both, you know, the boys and, and the girls divisions. And I think, you know, now looking back at USA Hockey, USA Hockey is, is really hitting a lot of areas hard. They're, they're introducing the games down in Florida. They're doing coaching clinics. They're having former players, you know, help out um, in USA Hockey former players. They're going to Texas. They're they're going to different areas, even some of the small, you know, Nashville is getting better. Obviously, Las Vegas with, you know, the Vegas Golden Knights going in there. So you're doing, you're holding events, both for the boys division and the girls uh, division and youth hockey nationals where they, the best teams all go to play. They're holding tournaments. They're, they're just digging deep into areas where they're growing the game. And that's the most important thing. You want to see the game grow to where it's elite, where everybody's getting an opportunity to play and everybody who loves the game gets a chance, whether you're a I mean, this is this is senior hockey too. They do this. It's not just, and there are beginners at the age of fifty that go out and try to play. And that's what that's what I love about the game. That's what I love about USA Hockey is doing. They're trying to grow the game to be the best game possible. We have the numbers, obviously, in the United States. We got to get more and more, you know, kids to go out and try all, 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 like, you know, with you know, the senior leagues or whatever it is, high school hockey and different areas.